New pictures have come forward of Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, suggesting that the craft may finally be ready for testing soon. But should competitors be worried? Can the new Glenn revitalize Jeff Bezos' company? Or is it still far from being complete? Let's find out. Jeff Bezos' space company has constructed a launch pad near an empty Florida beach, specifically designed to endure the intense flames and powerful roars of rocket engines during liftoff. Surprisingly, despite being built to withstand such forces, the launch pad remains nearly untouched since no rocket has ever been launched from there. This scenario is expected to change in 2024, as Jeff Bezos is urging his team to expedite the production of the new Glenn rocket. In an unexpected development last week, a significant piece of hardware for Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket was transported out of the company's Florida rocket factory for the first time. This hardware is a sizable fuel tank adorned with a pristine layer bearing the Blue Origin company's icon. The freshness and intricacy of this crucial rocket part are apparent, particularly considering its impressive size with a diameter of 7 meters. While not comparable to the massive 9-meter width of the Starship, this rocket section still holds significant importance in the realm of operational rockets. Speculatively, it could be the mid-module among the three modules, aft, mid, and forward, comprising the first stage of the rocket. This module is where the fuel and oxidizer tanks are situated, crafted from orthogrid aluminum to withstand substantial G-loads during re-entry. Further observation also revealed glimpses of landing legs and aft modules. The aft module, serving as a powerhouse, houses seven B4 engines renowned for their restartable capability, providing precision thrust vector control and continuous deep throttle capability. Beyond their performance attributes, these engines are designed for longevity, featuring a robust eight, five meter diameter engine skirt that protects them during atmospheric re-entry conditions. The aft module also proudly features deployable six landing legs, essential for the precise landing operations of the stage on the drone platform in the Atlantic Ocean. Transitioning to the forward module completes the trio, which incorporates four actuated aerodynamic control fins for altitude control during descent. Additionally, it serves as the housing for ground umbilical connections for New Glenn and the interstage housing for the two second stage vacuum optimized B3U engines. Crucial avionics, including an autonomous flight safety system, are integrated into this section to ensure precise control throughout the mission. The second stage consists of an expendable liquid hydrogen stage with dual gimballing B3U engines boasting a total thrust of 1600 K or 240,000 pounds force in a vacuum. The second stage tank with a diameter of seven meters or 23 feet has a length of 16, one meters or 52, nine feet. The overall length, inclusive of the two high expansion ratio nozzles, is 23, four meters. Similar to the first stage, the second stage is separated into aft, mid, and forward sections. Noteworthy features of the New Glenn architecture include a stage separation system located in the forward module. This system ensures positive separation before the ignition of the second stage, contributing to the overall reliability of the launch. With this intricate design and the impending testing phase, the New Glenn is positioned as a formidable player in the realm of space exploration. Blue Origin's primary competitor in its ambitious space exploration endeavors is none other than SpaceX. Comparing the flight profile of Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket reveals striking similarities to SpaceX's workhorse, the Falcon 9. Similar to the Falcon 9, the New Glenn executes a flip maneuver after the separation of its first and second stages. Subsequently, the booster lands vertically after a landing burn to decrease its speed. However, a notable distinction emerges. Unlike the Falcon 9, the New Glenn aims to attempt a landing on its maiden flight based on publicly available information. In contrast, SpaceX conducted multiple flights of the Falcon 9 before embarking on testing a propulsive landing, eventually executing the first such maneuver on land. Both companies enjoy the financial backing of billionaires, providing them with substantial resources for funding the costly development phase. While Blue Origin's development process remains somewhat shrouded in mystery, SpaceX adopts a strategy of manufacturing any necessary component in-house to mitigate costs and expedite the manufacturing process. Should the New Glenn successfully fly and become operational, it would present a formidable challenge to SpaceX's Falcon 9. The New Glenn's larger size not only positions it as a rival rocket, but also holds the potential for long-term cost reduction by optimizing first stage booster production. While the New Glenn holds the promise of delivering 45 tons to low Earth orbit, SpaceX's super-heavy Starship surpasses this capacity by aiming for at least 100 tons, 
However, before SpaceX can realize this ambitious goal, they must first operationalize at least a basic version of the new Glenn. Originally slated for its debut flight in 2020, the launch of the new Glenn has faced repeated postponements, and predictions have proven inaccurate by several years. With just 10 months left until the purported launch date, it appears unlikely, especially considering NASA's upcoming mission to Mars. Despite leaked photos, there has been no evidence of pressure tests or launch pad rehearsals. The anticipation for an official announcement from the company continues. Examining the situation with the BE-4 engine, while it is regarded as a robust engine with significant potential and is among the world's most powerful rocket engines, it took over two years to produce two engines for ULA, United Launch Alliance. This delay is deemed unforgivable. Notably, the new Glenn requires seven of these engines, and there is no indication that the expected engine test count for all seven engines will be completed any time next year. Complicating matters further, ULA also faces challenges in acquiring more engines, with one of them exploding during testing a few months prior to being taken to one of the test stands. Even for Blue Origin, uncertainty looms, even with their most successful rocket, the New Shepard, boasting 21 successful launches. However, it has yet to reach orbit, currently awaiting launch approval from the FAA after an incident at the end of 2022. The fact remains that Blue Origin has not achieved orbital success, let alone with their ambitious New Glenn rocket. There's no guarantee that the New Glenn will land flawlessly on its first test, introducing skepticism about Blue Origin's capabilities. This skepticism might have been alleviated if Blue Origin had been more transparent about its production and testing processes in the past. However, it's worth noting that Blue Origin's operational practices align with those of many aerospace companies, including ULA, Rocket Lab, Ariana Space, Astra, and others. The majority of construction work in these companies is typically conducted behind closed doors and within clean rooms. SpaceX stands as an exception, with a significant portion of Starship's construction happening outdoors. The allure of SpaceX's rapid Starship development has led some to overlook the norm of limited daily updates from other aerospace companies. SpaceX's exceptional transparency sets them apart, contributing to the skepticism surrounding Blue Origin's timeline. It's reasonable to question Blue Origin's progress, given the lack of detailed information. Yet, in fairness, Blue Origin has made commendable achievements over time, even if they may not match the scale of SpaceX's accomplishments. These milestones represent promising steps forward compared to Blue Origin's historical trajectory. Based on the latest developments at Cape Canaveral, it appears that Blue Origin is making concerted efforts to ensure that 2024 indeed marks the debut year for the new Glenn. A notable indicator is the presence of a fuel tank for the first stage at Cape Canaveral, suggesting potential earmarking for test flights in the upcoming months. Adding to the anticipation is the recent demonstration of Blue Origin's B-4 engine, during the maiden flight of ULA's Vulcan on December 24th. This marks the first flight of the B-4 engine and contributes an additional layer of excitement to the unfolding developments. The successful integration of the B-4 engine is a crucial step for New Glenn, and only if the process proceeds smoothly with promising testing results will the prospect of a launch in late 2024 become more reasonable and feasible. The space industry is eagerly awaiting the progress and potential impact of these unfolding events. In February of this year, NASA awarded Blue Origin and the New Glenn vehicle a mission to Mars, involving the transportation of two spacecraft. Despite being labeled as a low-priority and high-risk mission by NASA, they emphasized the potential for significant alternative opportunities. The scheduled launch for this mission in 2024 remains intact, despite acknowledged challenges. What do you think? Can Blue Origin get back on course and prove the New Glenn is a worthy competitor for SpaceX? Let us know in the comments below.